only me. Today, I'm going to read from a book called How to Be a Superhero, called Self-Control, by Lauren Bruckner. So, I know some pretty famous superheroes. They're pretty cool guys and girls. They even take me along when they do cool stuff, like swinging across buildings or flying through the air. I've gotten less scared doing the flying parts, mostly by not looking down. Happy Harry? What? You haven't heard of him? Well, I won't tell him. He is super strong and, shh, don't tell anybody. We are working together on some of his anger issues so he can feel calm and happy even when things don't go his way. You must know Lightning Lizzie. No? Are you sure? Well, she must be going too fast for you to see her. It's awesome to be able to go at the speed of light to save, well, the world. But I've been helping her to slow down a bit when she has a moment. Hmm. Now, who else of my superhero buddies might you know? Oh, I got it. Stretchy Sue. She can bend and stretch into all kinds of shapes. The last time I saw her, she was helping out Happy Harry as she was curled up into a human pretzel. Seriously, something that I've been helping her with is being a little flexible in her thinking, not just her body. Kind of funny, you know? She can bend and flex in all kinds of ways with her arms and legs, but she doesn't like to be flexible when it comes to things like sharing or doing something another person's way. And then there's me. That's right, I'm a superhero too. See the totally awesome cape, mask and watch? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? My name is Self-Control. Have you heard of me? Well, maybe not. I'm not in any of the comics and I haven't started any movies yet. I'm more of a on the sidelines kind of dude. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt a really yucky feeling, but you somehow got the strength and control to feel better? Guess what? I may have been there whispering my secrets to you. Well, maybe, maybe not. I lose track of all the kids and grown-ups that I help all over the world. It's an exhausting job. No weekends, no vacations, very little sleep, but somebody's got to do it. So here's my job in a nutshell. My superpower is getting kids to feel like super self-control experts. Being able to get rid of any of the yucky feelings that can pop up during the day or night with my simple bag of superpowers. Now, it's not the time to be modest. I'm quite the expert. So much so, in fact, that self-control is my superhero name. But my friends, how does this help you? Frankly, I'm tired. It's getting a little exhausting having to fly to many situations where I'm needed 24-7 across the globe. The first few times, eating gelato in Milan, sushi in Tokyo, and deep dish pizza in Chicago all in one day, was quite exciting. Yeah, I can fly that fast. Now, I just want to have some downtime. Maybe sleeping in on the weekends curled up on the couch with a good book 
without the ever-sounding beep of my self-control alarm watch going off every minute or so. It's time, my friends, to pass the torch. Let me teach you what I know so that you can become like me, self-control. Maybe you can even wear a cape. Wait, you already have one. Well, I bet it's not the same as mine. Superpower number one, taking a deep breath. Here's David. He's playing a board game with his brother. His brother gets the last piece in to make four in a row and his brother wins the game. Now, David is frustrated. He slams the table in frustration and yells, this is too hard. You always win. Let's learn how to help David feel better together, okay? Go teamwork. So, the first step in learning to be well, like me, is to learn to take a deep breath. That's right. A deep breath. But hey, it's harder than it sounds. So let's have some fun with this one. Okay. I want you to close your eyes, no peeking. Pretend that you have a jar filled with bubbles. Do you feel its weight in your hand? Is it slippery? Make sure to hold on to it tightly. Good. Now unscrew the cap and pull out the wand. Is it wet? Okay. If it is, just brush it off. That's called being flexible. Another self-control awesome thing that we will get to. Does your bubble wand have enough soap on it? If not, give it another dip in the bubbles. Good. Are we ready? Now breathe in slowly through your nose. And when you blow out, you are going to blow a bubble as big as the room you are in. Remember, if you breathe too softly, you won't make any bubbles. And if you breathe too fast or too hard, the bubble will pop. Let's turn the page and see if we helped David. Uh, board games are fun, and it would be a shame for him not to enjoy it. 